Hello, my name is Lily. I'm going to be your instructor for this little core workout that we have for you today. We're going to have a very short warm-up. We're just going to start seated. Nice deep breaths, rolling those shoulders up and back for a few breaths here. And you can change directions with that whenever you want. And then we're also going to take some nice seated side bends, reaching up and over your head back and forth, side to side, nice and easy. So we're starting to get that core moving in all directions. Getting ready for our work today. We're gonna have three circuits for you. We're gonna go through each one twice. 30 seconds per exercise, three exercises per circuit. All right, you can go ahead and slow that down there. First circuit, we're gonna be on our back, starting with a three-point crunch. So with those hands together behind your head, start by reaching to one side, come back to that starting position, reach between the knees, back to start, over to that other side. And then we're just gonna work our way back to that starting side. We're gonna be going for 30 seconds. Get ready in three, two, one. Here we go. First side. Working your way all the way across. Changing your intensity by how high you're peeling those shoulders off the mat. And then remember, you can take breaks along the way. Just hop right back into it whenever you're ready. And keep breathing, you're doing great. And that's 30, go ahead and relax. Second exercise, we're gonna have a double crunch. Similar position, hands are gonna come alongside the head now. We're gonna bring those knees in, elbows also draw in. Little hip lift of those seat bones off the mat. Little lift of those shoulders off the mat as well as you come into a small little ball there. And then relax both back to the ground. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds again. In three, two, one. Here we go with that double crunch. Again, at your own pace. Changing the intensity by how high you're lifting those seat bones and those shoulders off the mat to draw together. Check in with that breath. Squeezing out the exhale as you draw in. Nice recovery, inhale as you control back down. And that is 30. Go ahead and relax. We're onto our last exercise of this circuit. It's gonna be a little combination. Starting with the legs, or one leg up in the air. One leg can be flat on the ground or hovered, your choice. Hands together are gonna be reaching up for that toe. Back down and then we're gonna switch legs. So a bent leg, bent or straight, resting or hovering. We're gonna be here for 30 in three, two, one. Here we go. Now check out that low back. We want it to be glued flat into the floor the entire time. If you're getting a little raised there, try changing the legs so it's resting flat or it's bent. And we're there in five, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and relax. Great job. Go ahead and grab some water, stretch anything out that you need. We're gonna go back, do that one more time. 30 seconds still and a little faster now that we know it's coming up. All right, so now they've gotten that water. We're back down all the way on our back. We're starting with that three-point crunch, working our way back and forth. 30 seconds, here we go. Full range of motion there. Bring it all the way back to that starting position before you move back over. We're doing great. Starting to feel that burn in the core just like we want. And that's 30. Go ahead and relax. We 
we are moving into that double crunch now. In three, two, one, here we go. Elbows and knees draw together, open up. At your own pace, we're going for time, not reps. Deep breath, all the way to the end, you got this. We're so close, keep pushing. And that's 30, go ahead and relax. Last one of the circuit, that diver combination with the leg lift in three, two, one, here we go. This is our last time through with this one, so see if you can maybe change up that modification. Remember, how you start does not need to be how you end, as long as you're working hard the entire time. Nice deep breaths in and out. We have five. And three, two, one. That's 30, go ahead and relax. Awesome job, that's circuit one. We're moving on to circuit two now. Make sure you grab some water. First one I have is a V-sit leg lift. So that V-sit, we're on those seat bones. Hands can be down to support that low back or raised. Heels are gonna come up off the ground or rest gently on the ground. One leg is gonna extend, lift up to the height of that opposite knee, back, bend back in. Then my opposite leg extend, lift up, down, and back in. So heels down or up, hands down or up. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. With control. Working those low abs here. We're checking in with that whole core, making sure we're nice and flat there. Keep breathing. These are tough, but you're tougher. You got it. And that's 30. Go ahead and relax. Moving down onto our back. We're gonna have a double cross bicycle here. Legs can be straight, rested on the ground, straight hovered, or with a slight bend in them. First, it's gonna be opposite elbow, opposite knee. Then, knee's gonna stay up, same elbow, same knee. Keep breathing. Remember, you can take a break whenever you need. Doing great. And that's 30, go ahead and relax. Bringing it back up onto those seat bones now. We're gonna have Russian twists. So similar thing, heels can be rested or raised. We're gonna be rotating all the way, hands come along one hip, up and over, all the way to the other side. We're gonna be here for 30 in three, two, one. Here we go. Getting a nice full twist in there by having your head and shoulders follow along with your hands. And again, those heels can be lift. Just keeping an eye on those knees, make sure they stay in place as you rotate through. And we're under that 10 second mark. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. All right, that's 30. Go ahead and relax. Shake it out, grab some water. That was the first time through circuit two. We're gonna go through one more time, a little bit faster now that we know it's coming. All right, now we've gotten that water. V-sit leg lifts. Again, heels down, hands down, or both raised, or one or the other raised. In three, two, one, 30 seconds, here we go. And like I said earlier, how you start does not need to be how you end. That goes for within these 30 seconds. It goes for between the 30 seconds, the first round and the second round. Feel free to change it to best suit your needs today. Remember, this is your workout. You're here for you. And that's 30. 
go ahead and relax. We're going to that double bicycle. Bring yourself down to your back. Opposite and same for that twist. In three, two, one. 30 seconds, here we go. Hopefully a little more coordinated since we got that first 30 seconds of practice out of the way. And keep breathing. We have just one more circuit to go after this one. Doing awesome, making our way through. And that's 30. Last exercise of the circuit, back up onto those seat bones with those Russian twists. In three, two, one. 30 second Russian twists. Heels raised or rest it on the ground, your choice. Deep breaths, check in to make sure you're getting that full rotation. You're over halfway already and looking strong. Give me five, three, two, and one. All right, great job. We are on to our very last circuit. Awesome job for sticking through so far. We are gonna be moving on to work with a bit of that back since it's a really important part of our core. So starting in tabletop position, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're starting with bird dog. That's gonna be opposite arm, opposite leg raise. Option to add a crunch underneath. And then we're gonna switch over to that opposite side. 30 seconds of these bird dogs in three, two, one. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Optional crunch. When we lift, we wanna keep that back nice and flat. So just like this is tabletop position, imagine you're a table set with food. We don't wanna spill any of that food over. So keep it nice and flat the entire time. And we're almost there. All right, that's 30. Go ahead and relax. We're gonna drop it down onto our belly from here. Continuing to work that back. Starting with the chest down, legs stay flat the entire time. We're lifting that chest as high as we can off the floor and then bringing it back down with control. You can play with your arm position here to change the intensity. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. Chest as high off the ground as is comfortable for you. And then again, you choose that pace, whatever feels best for you, going for 30 seconds. And we're on that belly, so make sure you're still taking those nice deep breaths. Looking great. And that's 30, go ahead and relax. We're moving ourselves back up into this tabletop position here. But this time, we're popping those knees off the ground in what I call a crouch position. We're gonna be walking out from this crouch position, straightening those legs to a plane, then walking yourself back in. If it feels more comfortable to you, you can drop those knees when you step it in, in between walking it out to that plank. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Pop those knees up. Step into that plank, nice straight line, and step it back in. Try to alternate your leading leg stepping out and stepping back in. That's a lot to coordinate, remember right now. Don't worry about it. Just like that tabletop, we want that back to stay nice and flat the entire time, not spilling any food. And that's 30. Go ahead, drop those knees down. Shake it out, take a nice deep breath, grab some water if you need. We're going back up to the top, circuit three. Those are our last full minute and a half of work. We're so close. All right, find that tabletop position, starting with bird dogs for 30. Three, two, one, here we go. Out, optional crunch, or out, 
and back down nice and controlled. It's up to you. Keep taking those nice deep breaths. Under those last 10 seconds, you got this. Three, two, and one. Bring it down to your belly. Low back extensions. In three, two, one. Cast as high off the ground as comfortable to you. Playing with that hand position, seeing how that changes the intensity. And remember to breathe. We're almost there. We're working hard all the way to the very end. Keep it strong now. In three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. We're bringing it up into that crouch position for our last 30 seconds of work. Stepping onto the plank, here we go. Trying to alternate your leading leg, keeping that back nice and flat as we move in and out of the plank. Shoulders are staying over my wrists. Keep breathing, almost there. And that's 30. Go ahead and drop those knees. Just gonna do a few nice, quick, deep breaths to stretch out, inhale, belly button to floor, look up. Exhale, round the spine towards the ceiling. Bringing down that heart rate. Breathing rate and core temperature as we work super hard during this workout. So you should be proud of yourselves for making it through. You can do as many of these as you want. Great job. Go ahead and drink a lot of water and rehydrate and refuel yourselves.